Phoenix travels to Portland to take on the struggling Blazers. Phoenix needs to fix their problems defensively and in a hurry. Fortunately, the best defense is sometimes playing against a bad offense. Find out if Phoenix is the right side next. <laughs> to hear breaking down the big NBA basketball games Vegas style right here on gamblerstelevision.com. All right, now it's time for our coverage. It's Phoenix at Portland. Portland, a two-point home underdog. 10 o'clock Eastern time NBA preview to televise. You know, Portland, they're in need of some offensive punch as James Jones is set for return from injury after their two road games in LA. In Portland's first eight games without Jones, the Trailblazers have gone one and seven against the spread in his absence. A sore knee has hampered Brandon Roy, so the Blazers have been stung by injury the key personnel in recent games. Phoenix ran out of gas in their last road game at New Orleans, but it was understandable for this old Suns team, the Fae playing the back end of a back-to-back -back against Chris Paul and the much younger Hornets team. The Suns really could get by in this game with their offense because the Portland guards don't possess the quickness that forces the Suns to use up energy on the defensive end. Defense has been the Achilles heel for the Suns since O'Neal's arrival as they're giving up an average of 49% shooting to their opponents. I don't like what I'm hearing from O'Neal as he keeps using that T word, you know, that's time, time, saying it'll take five to ten games for everyone to know each other. Man, have you ever played pickup basketball? You know that's complete bull, because it really only takes one game to know your teammates. I mean, come on Shaq, this is five guys against five guys. You don't need ten games to know your teammates, especially when you have game film and practices before and after games. You know, this is the attitude that I'm worried about with Shaq with the Suns. He's going to bring lethargy to the Suns team and will bring the franchise down. Let's get back to this matchup here because I believe in this game, you go with Phoenix. Portland is a struggling team right now and the right opponent for the Suns to face with two days rest in between. Fortunately, Shaq won't have to work too hard against the Trailblazers because his guards and forwards will do most of it. Take Phoenix minus the two. Be sure to visit and bookmark my TV show page at www.gamblerstelevision.com for continuous points spread coverage from the NBA and college basketball. Gamblers Television, Get addicted.